But she had pneumonia. If you don't treat pneumonia in time, it will go to the, uh, the viral bacteria will go to the heart. And that's what damaged her heart. So I kept praying for God to give her a new heart. A new heart. But I thought he was going to take that heart and go in and heal it <coughs> out and make it new. But you can't limit God. He gave her a new heart. We 59. He gave her a 38 year old heart. I mean, gave her a 38 year old heart. So he gave her the new heart that I was praying for. But I was thinking it was going to come another way. But it came this way. But we still got the new heart. And now she's healthier and built off because even some of the other issues that she had before she went in there, because of the new heart, those issues have gone. So she, it's literally like she's a totally new person. I mean, her skin and everything. She always had pretty skin, but everything it, it, uh, just came up and just came out better. So I just want to share with you all I won't even talk about my business today, but I just want to share with y'all, remember those things. Number one, what's number one? Health. Health. Got to take care of that health. And what's number two? Your partner. Your partner. <laughs> y'all been listening. Y'all been listening. They think they're going to do it. That's right. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Take care of those things. Take care of those things, and I'm telling you, you'll have a successful life. If you can take, take, get those two things under control, you can have a successful life. All right? I want to thank you guys for well, letting no, me you Get your business. We, we got oh, time. Oh, we got a little time. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. we got about 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, okay. I would definitely want to, but I'm going to, I mean, this is good for them to understand. The right, foundation. right. Okay. Because a well, lot of yeah, times, right. it's not the business, it's those other it's things. So, it's those other things that will make you fail. Those things I bought up will make you fail. Fooling with the wrong people, and not only your mate, but even your friend. Hanging in the wrong crowd. If you're the smartest person in your crowd, you need to get some more friends. If everybody in your crowd, everybody in your clique is coming to you for advice, you need to get another clique. Because you need to be able to go somewhere and get some advice. Alright? So remember that. Help. Make <coughs> friendship. Monitor those three things. Those things are really detrimental to being successful in the earth. Now, going back to the business, we talked about how um, I first started with uh, the pills, uh, those pills that we take internally is because of my family death. We started out with that. Excuse me. But through that, once I started taking the pills and everything, I realized that some of those same herbs that we were using uh, to take internally was also good for your external. Like, uh, there's an herb that we used that was used back in World War II. When the Germans would get hurt out in the field, if they got a cut or a burn on their arm, instead of using modern medicine or salve or anything, they would take the burdock leaf and wrap it on their arm, and it would cure it. So when we started doing our research and stuff, we found this company that uh, uh, we could use those same herbs. So we put together this formula, and we started making this soap. And I started making this soap, and it was so crazy. I was giving it away at first, and I gave it to this lady. And this lady had eczema around her head and if the breakouts would come like five, six times a year and during the middle of the summer, she'd be wearing a scarf as hard as it is because of a breakout. I gave her two bars of my soap and she called me about three weeks later. I got to get some more of that soap. My eczema gone, my, it's killing me, it's killing me. So I said, hold on, I can't, she said, I want 10 bars. I said, I can't give you 10 bars. I'm going to start selling them to you. So that's when I said, wow, I might have some. So I gave them to her. I, I sold them to her. And then about three or four weeks later, I was up in Asheville, North Carolina, at this hair show. And I ran across this uh, white guy who was a professional stylist. And he did men and women hair. And we got to talking. He said, man, he said, my son ain't but 10 years old. But he said he got the worst dandruff. 
that I've ever seen. And he said, I don't use every professional product line in the world. He said, I don't use everything to get rid of dandruff, nothing work. But at that time, all I had <coughs> was my soap. So I said, look, he says, here, boy, huh, take this soap and start washing his hair. He called me back about two or three weeks later. He said, man, this stuff is for real. He said, it got rid of my son's dandruff. He said, this stuff really worked. And he said, guess what else is good for? He said, it's good for shaving men with. He said, I started shaving my men, male customers. I said, wow, really? Because at that time, I, I, I had a bald head, but I didn't shave my head with it. So when he told me that, I went in, I lathered, and I started shaving my head and my face with it. And of course, that's all I use now. Because it's great for shaving. Men that got shaving bumps on the face, bumps or uh, uh, bumps on the back, it clears that up. It get rid of it. If you got eczema psoriasis, it clears it up. But anyway, after I run across those two people, I said, wow, I got something. He told me, he said, look, he said, can you make a shampoo with those same ingredients? Because he said, I got female customers, but I can't afford to wash their hair with a bar of soap. So he said, can you make a shampoo? And we made a shampoo. And now we've got about 10, 10 products. And uh, so, but, and we've been successful selling them throughout. We signed a deal with uh, Damon John from Shark Tank, and we're gonna be, we didn't, we didn't go on Shark Tank. I met him out in um, Walmart corporate office, out in Bentonville, uh, Arkansas, and we were able to talk and we signed a deal and we're gonna be going on QVC, uh, on the home shopping, QVC, they bought the home shopping channel, but we'll be going on their shopping channel, channel soon. <coughs> uh, so we, we're excited about that. Uh, we also met with another group who we are supposed to get together early next week that uh, wants to take and private label the products. And they want to change it, uh, change some of the things, put the soap in a tin, bar, uh, tin uh, container and start selling it on Amazon under their name brand. So we agreed to let them do that. And they agreed to let me manufacture it and I get 25% of uh, profit as well as the manufacturing uh, part of it. So we're excited about that. Things are really opening up and moving for us. And that's why I tell you all, you can have whatever you want to have in life. And, and, and let me go back real quick. When I was 10 years old, 10 years of age, I made, I, I said to myself uh, three things that I wanted to do. I said I want to get married by age 25. I want to have my own business by age 25. And I want to be a millionaire by age 40. I got married at age 24. I opened my first business at age 26 and a half. And the millionaire status, it was tough to get before 40. I didn't quite make it at 40. But, you know, we, we continue to work. We continue to work. And I, I won't talk too much about that, but you know, uh, with the value of the business, uh, uh, <clears throat> what is being valued at uh, is, is over, well over a million. So, but I just want to share that with uh, you all that at ten I put these things in my mind, and I literally forgot about them. You no, know, there was one other thing. I wanted to go to Africa by age thirty. I forgot about that. And I was actually 36 when I went to Africa. But I literally had forgot that I had made these <coughs> dreams and visions to myself until one day God, I was laying back and God reminded me, you remember what you said when you was 10? I've given you all those things. Because you spoke at that age 10. And you worked towards it. And it manifested. I might have been a year or two later on some of the things, but it, they happened. They happened. And I'm telling you, God's not a respecter of persons. If he did it for me, if he did it for Warren Buffett, if he did it for Bill Gates, he'll do it for you. You can have whatever you want to have on this earth. It's totally up to you. Totally up to you. Forget all the foolishness. Anything that happened to you before this day ain't got nothing to do with your tomorrow.
even if you are going to prison for the next nine years, you still could, if you did something yesterday that might be sending you to prison, you still can accomplish. I've got friends that we, we I work with ex offenders. I got friends that come out of prison and this, <clears throat> when you come out of prison for this kind of felony, you're not supposed to be able to get a contractor's license. This guy came out and because this guy was so diligent and working hard that the state gave him a general contractor license and now he's probably one of the biggest contractors over in the Raleigh-Durham area. Because he kept believing, he had a dream and a vision and he kept saying it. And when you make up your mind, I'm telling you, things will happen like that. Things will happen. The whole world will open up for you if you stay firm <coughs> and continue to believe. I was just listening on the way here, and I didn't even know all this, about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln lost running for office about 10 or 12 times. <coughs> His first sweetheart died. He had a nervous breakdown. And still ended up being the greatest president that we've ever had. Winston Churchill was supposed to be the greatest leader in the 20th century. Say nobody liked him all his life. At age 66, he decided he something it worked out where he ran for office and he won Prime Minister of Britain, Great Britain, and became the greatest leader of the 20th century. And what I'm saying is once those guys figured it out, they were able to make the things happen once they figured it out. And I'm telling you today is because you all are in this class, this is part of your figuring it out. You are blessed to be here today to hear this conversation. Grab some of these nuggets and run with them. Because this is the greatest time in the history of the world to be alive. Because who is here? You all are here. And if it's going to be, it's up to. Amen. All right. Thank you guys for giving me this opportunity.